screw step you're coming through with a brush then a scuff then a dig you're gonna step on the opposite foot in this case the left foot and when you do that step you obviously turn that right toe out so jump shuffle hop brush scuff dig step brush step and then you're gonna start over again with the shuffle on the left. So you're not gonna repeat the jump. You're gonna start, you're gonna come in that step of the brush step is basically going to um, take the place of the, the jump that we start on. So the timing of it is one, E, N, A, uh, two, E, N, A, uh, three, E. Then like I said, you're gonna continue, same thing on the left, N, A, uh, four E and a one E and so we finish and we do the same thing both sides um, it's just as far as where each uh, part of the step is is obviously different as far as the eight count is on each side so let's go through that again jump shuffle hop brush scuff dig step brush step shuffle hop brush scuff dig, step, brush, step. Um, so when you're doing this again, you're coming through, the biggest mistake that you could make on this step is to come through and just go brush, dig, instead of brush, scuff, dig. So almost picture it being like you're coming through on, like you would for a riff, right? Um, but then you're gonna place that heel down. It's that same idea, okay? but there's obviously no heel drops in this as there would be for a riff. So again, jump, shuffle, hop, brush, scuff, dig, step, brush, step, shuffle, hop, brush, scuff, dig, step, brush, step. And now I'm gonna do it again with the counts. Six, seven, eight, and one, E, and a, two, E, and a, three, E, and a, four, E, and a, five, E, and, a uh, six C e and a uh, seven E and a uh, eight. So what the heck did we just do, right? All we did was just shuffle, ball, heel, ball, heel, shuffle, ball, stop. Again, that last part, shuffle, ball, heel, ball, heel, shuffle, ball, stop. Okay? So let's put that all together again. Jump, shuffle, uh, you know what? I'd like to do it with the counts instead, okay? So, one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a five E and a six E and a seven E and a eight. Let me just show you what this looks like from the front. Jump, shuffle, hop. See how I'm kind of coming across? I like to call it, like I said, the corkscrew step because you're kind of like, boop, you know, doing a little swivel in there. Okay? So one more time. Um, and then we're actually going to repeat that first part of the step the second time around. Um, and then the second part of it will change. So let, let's, let's get there. All right, so do this again. Six, seven, eight, and one, E, and a, two, E, and a, three, E, and a, four, E, and a, five, E, and a, six, Like I said, we're gonna repeat that again. So you're here. Don't put that weight there. You're gonna make sure you stomp it down. I know some people say stamp. I've realized this recently that I say stomp for both stamp and stomp for what some people call stamp and some people call stomp, but whatever. Flat foot down, okay? But then it's gonna come right back up because you're gonna go right back into that first part again. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a five E and this is where it changes. It's gonna be like you're getting ready to go into it again, but then you don't. So let me let me show this again. Okay, 
One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a five E and a six E, right? So we, it almost seems like I'm gonna go right into another one again, but I'm not. I'm gonna go brush, stuff, dig, toe. And we're not gonna hold it there, okay? So let me let me just uh, one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a five. So you're going brush, stuff, dig, toe, holding onto the mirror here so I can hold it here, pull, step, stomp. So like I said, you're coming here, shuffle, hop, brush, stuff, dig, toe, I'm holding on here, push off of that toe, pull, step, stomp. Now, if holding this in that position is too difficult when you're first learning this, you can just go to the ball of your foot. That's totally fine. I'm not going to hold that against you, okay? That's totally fine. You can do that as well. Sounds just as good, all right? I like this because you can do some cute arms with that, whatever, okay? It's, it's up to you. Um, so let's put those two together. Ready? Here we go. Five, six. Yeah? Wait, you can hear me? Yeah, Matthew, I'm in the middle of doing a tutorial. Are you talking through the vent? Okay, that's weird. I love you. I love you too. Bye. Okay. Anyway, so here we go. Here we go. So you have one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a five E and a six E and a seven E and a eight. Remember that was the first one. One E and a two E. Now we're on the second one. 4E and a 5E and a 6E and a 7E and a 8. That's so weird to do. So weird to do that slow, okay? Um, so I'm going to do a little bit more tempo now, and then we're going to move into the, the last couple bars. Of it. 5, 6, 7, and 1E and a 2E and a 3E and a 4E and a 5E and a 6E and a 7E and a 8. Okay? All right, moving on. All right, so from there, right foot is free. You're going to do scuff, dig, step, pull, step, scuff, dig, step, pull, step. Scuff, dig, step, pull, step, scuff, dig, step, pull, step. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. From here, you're doing this shuffle. You're going to crease up onto the ball of your foot, um, really press through the ball of your foot to get that left heel up, and you're going to click your right toe tap to your left heel tap like that. Don't kick yourself in the ankle. It hurts really badly. Okay, so you have one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. So I just did a ball change, okay? After heel drop out of that, Ball change. Repeat the first part of that. One E and a two E and a three E and a four. So we changed, we finished it a little bit differently there at the end. Scuff, dig, dig, right? I'm holding onto the mirror again so I don't fall on my butt or my face. And then from this position, we're just gonna press off and we're gonna do two syncopated pullbacks. And then we're gonna do a syncopated uh, double full lap forward and drop heel heel, okay? So it goes. Let's do it from here, from this third count of eight, okay? One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a five E and a six E and a seven E and a eight. One, two, three, and four. Um, after you do bop, 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 da, 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 da. So heel, heel, tap, heel, 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 tap. Let's, let's put it all together without the music and then we'll do it with the music. My biggest advice to you is when you're going to do it with the music, try to throw it into an app where you can slow down the speed of it and work it maybe at 80% and then you can work it at 90% and then at 100% speed. Five, six, seven, eight. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a five E and a six E and a seven E and a eight. 
1E and a 2E and a 3E and a 4E and a 5E and a 6E and a 7E and a 8E. 1E and a 2E and a 3E and a and a 5E, 6E, 7E and a 8. Double pull back. 2, double flap. Ba, ba, ba. Okay. Um, I know I said double pull back. Um, don't kill me for that. When I was growing up, my dance teacher referred to syncopated pullbacks as double pullbacks. So that's just, I just still, sometimes it slips out of my mouth. Okay, so there we go. Let's try with the music. Before I do this with the music, I just want to clarify that the heel drops right at the end are heel, heel, tap, heel, 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 tap. So it's left, left, right, left, right, left, left, right. I'm pretty sure I said that incorrectly when I broke it down. So here we go. This comes in right around like 45 seconds of the song. Um, yeah, right around 45 seconds. Here we go. Ready? 